Okay, so welcome students and all the viewers in this 11th lecture on Python programming. And today we are going to see one of the most important topics that is passing mutable and immutable objects to Python functions. And uh, let me tell you that uh, if, you, if you have gone through my previous lectures and if you have listened them carefully, so we discussed so many things in the previous lectures and uh, the important one among them were uh, like global creation of local and global environment. Okay, so global and local environment, how to create them, I had discussed it. And uh, then I also told you about the LEGB rule. Okay, and uh, uh, how to resolve the scope of variable, those things we had seen in the previous class. Okay, and then we had also, I had also told you about object reusability. Okay, so if these three concepts are clear to you, uh, creation of how to create uh, uh, environment for global and local variables, how global and local environments get created, then LEGB rule and then object reusability. If these three concepts are clear to you, then you won't face much difficulty in this particular topic and everything is everything uh, in this topic is based on these three to topics only. Okay, So if you understand them, then you will be definitely able to understand how to pass mutable and immutable objects to Python functions. Okay, so uh, as the course progresses, you will learn why I am saying so because everything will be based upon these three things only. Okay, so if you have not go gone through those lectures, then you first go through them and then you come back to this lecture and watch it and you will be able to understand it properly. Okay, so, so uh, in order to discuss this concept of passing mutable and immutable objects to Python functions, I have uh, taken eight programs. Okay. I have basically taken three data types. One will be your integer, then I have taken tuple, and then I have taken a mutable data type that is list. Okay, and we will see every one of them that how uh, when you pass mutable and immutable objects as argument, okay, uh, then what happens actually, how the address, uh, whether the address gets changed or not, whether the values get modified or not. So, all those things we will see today. So, let's say start, and in this regard, we will start with the very first data type that is your integer data type fundamental data type and you can see this program on your screen uh, before printing a value i have given some comments so that it becomes clear what i am trying to print actually okay so it will look uh, better so let's uh, start with this program and in this program you can see that the execution will be something like this that first this will be executed then the line will come to a equal to 20 and when a equal to 20 so if it prints address before function call so right now you have not called the function so it will print some address okay and uh, it doesn't matter to you what what will be the address it hardly matters next comes the value before function call okay so what is the value before function call you are printing the value of a which is equal to 20 and now you also know the creation of uh, local and global environment so you know that when a equal to 20 will get executed then a global environment will be created and then uh, the things will proceed now so this address before function call will get printed the value will get printed equal to 20 and then this function call will come and you can see here that you are here a is your argument okay and this argument is being passed to the function fun one okay so as soon as you do this as soon as you write this statement that means calling the function fun one okay so this is nothing but calling calling function okay fun one so you are calling this function fun one as soon as you call this the control will go here and now you know that a local variable named a will be created so there will be an a in global environment and there will be an a in local environment okay but now you see their values that they both are equal to 20 here it is also equal to 20 and inside this you are again writing it a equal to 20 so both of them will be pointing to the same object having value equal to 20 why because integers support object reusability okay so no new object will be created both this a out here and this a out here okay they will be pointing to the same object having value equal to 20 okay so if you print address inside function also then also it will be the same as the previous address and if you print the value inside function also then it will be equal to 20 only because nothing is getting changed okay i will show you diagrammatically also but let me first run it and see whether uh, what i am saying is correct or not and you will realize it that everything that i have said is correct and um, uh, you can also uh, do the execution line by line and then you can see here that when you are calling this function then the a is not getting a new value you are not modifying this value of a it is equal to 20 okay so it will be pointing to the same object which the global variable a is pointing so even if you print the address inside function it doesn't it doesn't matter it will 
uh, give you the same address okay and even if you print the value inside function it will be the same value that is equal to 20 so everything will remain same and when after after this statement after this statement print value inside function the control will come here okay then and you know that value in main after function call will again be equal to 20 so nothing is getting changed okay so uh, this was your global variable this was your local variable okay and after the function call also nothing is getting changed and the value in main after function call will remain equal to 20 so let me run it and show it to you uh, whether everything is correct or not and you can see here that the address before function call and the address inside function they both are same okay they both are equal to this one five eight five eight two nine two one six okay and here also it is the same value and you can see that every value whether it is before function call before inside function and whether whether it is after function call everything is same why because integer support object reusability and because of the concept of creation of global and local environment so uh, if you want i can show you here you can see the same program i have written here and uh, the creation of environment will be something like this that a global environment will get created and inside this global environment uh, when this a equal to 20 is getting executed then uh, this variable a will be uh, created this object a will be created and it will be pointing to some object which will be holding value equal to 20 so this reference variable a is generated and it will be pointing to an object holding value equal to 20 so this will look like something like this okay uh, let me write, write it first so it will be 20 it will be pointing to this object holding value equal to 20 and now when uh, so if you print the address it will give you send, uh, some address if you print the value of a reference variable a it will be equal to 20 and now when you call this function so as soon as the control goes here a local environment will get created and the local environment will look something like this it will be inside this global environment okay and let me denote it in some different color so it becomes more clear to you again a local variable named a will be created and this variable although you have created uh, a different local variable a it will be pointing to the same object having value value equal to 20 why because in integers support the concept of object reusability okay so even if you print the address inside or outside it will be this the address of the object holding value equal to 20 so they both will be pointing to the same object hence their addresses will be same their values will also be same and once the control once this last statement gets executed the control will come out of this function call this local environment will get erased okay so this local environment will get erased everything will get erased and again if you print the value in main after function call it will be equal to 20 and finally this global environment will also get erased okay so this is how the execution tech list we had seen in the last class also so i hope how to pass uh, the immutable object to uh, python function is clear to you a uh, little bit okay uh, you will understand it more as the course progresses as this lecture progresses now see the second example here everything is same the only difference is that initially here a is equal to 20 and then you are printing some address you are printing its value and then you are calling this function now you see listen very carefully what's how it is actually getting executed how the environments are getting created because many questions in uh, if you see the sample paper also and if you see the pre-board exam papers also then uh, many questions are based on these kind of concepts okay uh, so you have to be very careful while attempting such questions and uh, it can be only done if all your concepts regarding object reusability, mutable and immutable objects, creation of global and local environment, all these things are clear to you. Okay. So now when you are calling this function here, the control will go here and a local variable named A will be created and this A initially will be pointing to this same A. Okay. So let me, let me demonstrate it through this program only then. Uh, it will be more clear the discussion will be more valuable okay so uh, let me remove this space so okay so this is your program now you can see that here uh, uh, first a equal to 20 will be executed and sorry this one will get executed the header part okay and then it will come here and then it will print the address before function call and so it will print the address of a equal to 20 that is the uh, reference variable a address will be printed its value will be printed and it will be equal to 20 okay now the function fun one will be called and now you can see that as soon as you call okay so let me draw the environments so here the environment will be like this so when a equal to 20 is getting executed your uh, environment will look something like this so let me 
demonstrate like this and uh, this will be pointing to an object which will be holding value equal to 20 okay so okay so this is everything is in inside this in moment only okay so this a is point a is a reference variable which is pointing to an object holding value equal to 20 now as soon as this statement is called fun one a and the control comes here then this uh, the control comes here to the header a local environment will be generated and this local environment will look something like this it will be let me uh, recolor it and uh, here a variable a will be there and it will be pointing to this initially it will be pointing to when the control is here then this a will be pointing to listen very carefully this concept is very important because when, when you are writing a equal to 20 and you are uh, writing fun one a then when the control comes at this header part def fun one a then initially it will be pointing to this same object okay initially when the control is here it is pointing to the same object okay because this a out here this a out here although they are different variables they will be pointing to this a will be initially holding value equal to 20 listen it very carefully that this uh, parameter out here this parameter a out here is will be initially holding value equal to 20 so it will be pointing to this particular object okay but as soon as you write a equal to 30 then things get changed okay so now it will no more be pointing to this object and in fact a new object will be created okay a new object holding value equal to 30 will be created okay so the value of this object will be 30 and now a will be pointing to this one okay so this is how the situation changes when the value of a becomes equal to 30 okay so i hope you got this concept that initially when we had written df11 a when the control was here it was pointing to this 20 but as soon as you wrote a equal to 30 then it is started pointed it is started pointing to a different object now if you print address inside function it will give you a different value okay if you, it will give you a different address why because now this local a is pointing to a different object and if you print value inside function it will be equal to 30 but as soon as this statement gets executed and the control will come out of this function and this local environment will now be erased so this local environment will get permanently erased everything will be erased now and now the control will come at this particular line that the value in main after function call okay and now you know that the value in main after function call is, is still 20 so it was not modified because of this particular function okay so uh, this was very important point to note that this function fun one could not modify this global variable a okay whatever modification you made whatever changes you made that what that was in the local variable a and it had nothing to do with this particular global a okay so let me uh, re-show you that how the things got changed and you see that initially previously it was pointing to 20 okay but as soon as this statement a equal to 30 got executed then it is started pointing to this a new object and which was equal to 30 and uh, if you print the address inside function it will be a different address if you print the value it will be equal to 30 so i hope you i hope this concept was clear to you okay and finally everything will be erased okay so finally this will get erased as soon as this the control comes here everything in the local environment will get erased and if you now print the value in the main after function call it will be equal to 20 and after the completion of this statement this global environment will also get erased so everything inside this global environment will get erased okay so this is how it works and you can see also you can run this program program 2 and you can see what output it gives okay so let me rerun it and you can see that the address before function call is something else but as soon as you go uh, you because you are changing the value inside the function you are uh, changing the value of the, this local variable a equal to 30 so now this address will be different the value inside function is different but when you return from the function the value in the main after function call is not modified and now the reason now you know very well okay because it could not modify the global variable okay whatever changes were made whatever change from this 20 to 30 was done that was done locally that was done in the local variable a but as soon as the control came out of the function the local environment got destroyed got erased okay and so uh, the value of a in the main was not affected 
okay so this is the output of this particular program now let's see the third program and uh, if we have got the concept of uh, integer then it won't be i i will not draw the uh, diagram myself it is it is a kind of assignment for you okay so you have to draw the uh, environment for this particular uh, question program 3 okay and uh, but i will discuss it in this class only but uh, you have to show me that how will the environments get created and destroyed step step by step everything uh, you have to show me you can uh, you can take some pictures you can mail it to me and uh, or whatever way you feel appropriate you can send it to me okay so i need to check how you how you are creating uh, environments for this particular program okay but anyway so uh, you see uh, when you are writing a equal to 20 30 this is a tuple and this is this again does not support object reusability so if you print some address some address will be there if you print the value it will be 20 30 in the form of a tuple now this function will be called and initially this a will be pointing to the same 20 30 now you know why because the tuples do not support object reusability okay and even if you write a equal to 20 30 it will be point, uh, pointing to a different object okay so if you print address inside function it will be different from this address okay if you print this address inside function and the address before function call they will be different okay but the value inside function will be will remain same which is equal to 20 30 okay and if you come after function call again the value is equal to 20 30 nothing is nothing has been changed in this global a okay so uh, this value will remain equal to 20 30 i want to draw the um, environments for this particular problem so let me run it and uh, show it to you you can see that the address before function call that is the address in main and the address inside function they are different why even though they were storing same value equal to 20 30 even though inside the function also before function call it was holding the same value 20 30 and inside function call also it was holding the same value equal to 20 30 but still their addresses are different why because the a inside this function and the a outside function they will be pointing to different objects because tuple does not support object reusability okay so uh, that's it and let's see the next program program fourth here now again very important so uh, this is what i i will draw the environment for this particular case uh, what i was trying to tell you previously okay so sorry so So this is not here. This is not here. Now what will be the output? So let's do it here. Now very important, very important question. You listen it very carefully. Okay. So how will the environments be uh, get created? Here the first it will be a tuple a, a variable a which will be pointing to this tuple 2030 now uh, when you will draw the diagram for previous program you have to show everything that how it is pointing to different objects 2030 i am i will be showing it in a single object okay but you have to show it separately okay uh, you know what i am trying to say okay so i will i will tell you once you submit the assignment then i will tell you what was the mistake okay and i will discuss it again so it will be pointing to some object which will be holding value equal to 2030 okay so uh, let me write it here and this is equal to 2030 now when this function is getting called when this function is getting called then the control will come here okay df11a and a local environment will get created a local environment will get created now listen very carefully that here this a will be pointing to this a will be pointing to this particular object only okay why because when you are writing like this i told you that this is okay so let me tell you one thing that when you are calling this function fun one a okay then this is similar to if we if if we have gone through that particular previous lecture so i told you that if it is equal to a equal to 20 30 and if you write b equal to a then what happens that this b and a will be pointing to the same object 
okay this b and a they will be pointing to same object so here also the same situation situation is there irrespective of which data type you are discussing this a out here and this a out here they will be pointing to the same object which is equal to 2030 but if you have written a equal to 2030 if you write inside inside this if you write a equal to 2030 okay then it will not support object reusability it will start pointing to a different object holding value equal to 2030 okay so i hope you got my point but here since you have not written a equal to 2030 so this is similar to writing a equal to a okay this is similar to writing a equal to a and you know that in this particular case new objects do not get get created and this will be pointing to the same object holding value equal to 2030 okay so now if you um, uh, print the value even inside the function or even outside the function sorry then also it will be giving you the same output okay so uh, let me run it and show it to you that so now if you print address inside function it will be same if you print value inside function it will be equal to 2030 okay if you uh, when once you call uh, come out of this particular function then this particular environment will get erased and you know that the control will come here and if you print the value in main after function call it will be equal to 2030 okay so let me run this program for you and uh, show you that what is the output okay so you can see here that the addresses are not changed okay because this a out here and this a out here will be pointing to same object okay if you are getting confused then let me change it to a different variable b okay and let me print it here okay so this actually means if you write like this then this actually means b equal to a so this particular statement this fun one b is similar to writing b equal to a that means this b and this a will be pointing to same object irrespective of which data type you are passing okay so this b and this a either you pass mutable either you pass immutable they will be pointing to the same object because this is similar to writing b equal to a so you can see that in this case also it will give you the same output okay just the variable name has been changed okay okay so you can see the same situation is there but let me uh, write a only what i had written in the previous example okay and this basically means to say that this local a is equal to global a this is similar to saying this particular statement so when you are writing df on one a so this local a and this global a will be same for any data type okay doesn't matter which data type you are passing doesn't matter matter whether you are passing mutable whether you are passing immutable it will be pointing to the same object this local a out here and uh, will be pointing to the same object as the global a for any data type okay so i hope you got this concept and hence nothing got changed okay hence nothing got changed when you uh, uh, when you ran this particular program then the address inside function was same as this global a okay and the value inside function was also same as this global a okay so i hope you got the concept let me rerun it and show it to you so the everything is same okay so now uh, let's see a mutable type of object that is list and uh, let's check its address its values inside function values before function call and all those things that we have been checking till now okay so in this case you can see that this is a list and you are uh, printing its address before function call you are printing its value before function call then you are calling this particular function fun one and you are passing this and now you know that this particular address and this uh, this particular a out here and this particular a will be pointing to the same object okay so they will be pointing to the same object but now you are writing a equal to 2030 okay so okay so let me uh, draw its environment first and then it will be more clear to you okay so uh, let's see this one okay now as soon as you are writing this a equal to 2030 a global uh, this global a equal to 2030 will get generated now you are printing address so it will give some address if you print value it will give 2030 now you are calling this function as soon as you call this function and the control goes here def one one a then a local environment will be created and inside this local environment this this a initially okay the a in the local environment out here okay it will be pointing to the this same object 2030 okay so this will be pointing to the same object okay so this is pointing to this same object 
Now, this was the situation when this particular line was executed. This function header was executed. Okay, that is the global A and the local A will be pointing to the same object. Okay, that is irrespective of the data type. Okay, so keep it keep this fact in mind. Now, as soon as you are writing A equal to 2030, now you know that the list does not support object reusability. Okay, so it will start pointing to a different object okay so it will start pointing to a different 2030 and uh, so it will start pointing to this different 2030 out here and okay so as soon as you write this Okay, so as soon as you execute this particular statement a equal to 2030 this a out here will now start pointing to this particular object a different object okay why because list is mutable in nature it does not support object reusability okay so now if you print address inside function it will be different if you print value inside function it will be equal to 2030 the values has not been changed it is still pointing to the same uh, value okay even though a different object it is uh, the, the different object is having the same value okay now what happens when the control comes out this out of this function so as soon as the control comes out of this function this environment will be destroyed okay and now if you print the address before uh, the value in main after function call then this particular 2030 will be printed okay so the only important thing to note here was that this particular address out here inside function and the address before function call they will be different and now why because uh, because uh, the list does not support object reusability okay so let me run this and now you can see that the address inside the function call and uh, sorry address before function call and address inside function they both were different even though all the values were same values before function call values inside function values in main after function all those were same but the their addresses were different the address before function call was different from the address inside function okay so i hope uh, you got this concept also okay uh, so let's see the next program the sixth program and uh, again the same the same question as the tuple one okay so now you know very well that when you do this particular thing okay so i will not draw the environment for this i have already drawn in the case of tuple so now you know very well aware of this fact that when you are writing a equal to 2030 it will print the address it will print the value and then when you are calling this function this a out here and this a out here will be initially pointing to the same object although it is a list still they will be pointing to the same object because this is similar to writing that the local a is equal to global a okay so let me rewrite it so this is similar to writing that local a equal to global a okay so they will be initially pointing to the same object now you are not doing anything you are not assigning a new value to this particular local a so if you print the address inside function it will be still pointing to the same object if you print the value it will still be equal to 2030 okay and uh, if you print the value in main after function call it will be still equal to 2030 okay so nothing is getting changed everything the address value etc will remain same so let me run this and you can see that the nothing is getting changed the address before function call and the address inside function they both are same okay so i hope you uh, got this concept you are not changing anything this local a is was actually equal to global a they both are pointing to the same object and this is irrespective of which data type you are discussing okay so now let's come to this example this append example now this one is again one of the most important questions that you have to understand carefully okay so uh, see this one you are saying uh, that everything will remain same till this point so i will not tell it again and again now i hope you are aware of this concept okay so this a is getting created and this a is pointing to 2030 okay this a out here is pointing to 2030 okay and uh, uh, this is a list okay this is a list which is equal to 20 30 now when you are writing this df11a 
a global environment uh, sorry a local environment will be created okay and the a out here will be initially pointing to this same 2030 okay so this a out here will initially be pointing to the same 2030 isn't it okay now you see the very important part if you do a dot append okay if you do a dot append you know that lists are mutable you can change the values in place okay if you do a dot uh, append so this append will happen in this particular location only okay if you do a dot append that means you you know that lists are mutable so you can change their values if you are changing the value like this a dot append 40 then what will happen that this append will actually occur in this particular object only because nothing no new object was created I hope you got my point no new object was created when you wrote this line then this particular a was pointing to the, the same global a okay and if you are doing an append operation then append operation never creates a new object it will be in the same object to which it was previously pointing okay if you do append if you do remove okay if you perform delete operation all those will happen in the same object no new objects are created a new object will be created only when an assignment operation is done okay when you per if you had written a equal to 20 30 40 then a new object would have been created but here you are doing append operation so uh, as I, let me write it here for you that assignment never creates okay so let me write assignment creates a new object but append okay remove pop etc okay doesn't okay why because lists are mutable all those changes will happen in the same object okay so unless you per, do not do uh, this assignment thing this a equal to something then the everything will happen in the same object so if you print the address inside function also then it will be equal to 2030 the address of the same object and now if you print value inside function then it will be 20 30 40 but what happens when the control goes out of this particular function after execution of this particular thing so here the value that will be printed is 20 30 40 but as soon as the control will come out of here what will happen it will go here now very important thing what will be the value in when after function call so let me erase this because now this local environment will be erased and you can see that the value of a in the main was equal to 20 30 40 it has been now modified and the modification was done in the same object as the global one okay so the value that will be printed now will be equal to 20 30 40 i hope you got this concept so now you can see that this value will be changed the value in the main will get changed and it will be changed equal to 20 30 40 so let me run this for you and uh, show you what output it gives it will become more clear to you so now you can see that previously before function call also you can see the address and after inside function also you can see the address okay now the value before function call is 20 30 but value inside function is 20 30 40 and when it comes out of the function also it is equal to 20 30 40 it has been actually modified okay so i hope you got this concept that uh, how it got modified if you draw the environments correctly then you will get this point this append operation was not actually creating a new object it was happening in the same global object and hence it happened so that whatever modification you did whatever append operation you did that happened in the same object okay let's see the last example of today's class and uh, this again uh, you have to listen to it very carefully uh, so see here that now what you are doing that you are performing an append operation but before that what you are writing you are writing a equal to 20 30 okay so let me uh, create the environment for this particular example initially up to up to this point this particular global a will exist and it will its value will be equal to 20 and 30 but as soon as this particular uh, function is called the control will go here and a local environment will get generated the local environment will be like this okay and uh, here what what is it actually equal to this is equal to a and initially it will be as i said that uh, when it is at the header part okay then it will be pointing to the same object as the global one okay so it will be pointing to 20 30 okay up till now i hope it is clear now the very important now before append operation what you are writing if you had only written if if this statement was not here 
if this statement was not here and if we had performed append then this append must have happened in this particular same object but here before append operation what you are doing you are writing this a equal to 20 30 you know that list never supports object reusability so as soon as you write this a new object will be created and although it is having it will be holding the same value but it will be a different object holding value equal to 20 30 and now this a will start pointing to this particular object okay so i hope you this uh, got this concept because of object reusability concept this new object was created okay and now if you perform append operation then this append operation will happen in this particular local object not in the global one okay you see the global one is not affected okay the local one the local object was affected so if you print the address inside function it will be a different address if you print the value inside function it will be a different value 20 30 40 and as soon as this statement gets executed the control will come out of the function and this local environment will get destroyed okay and now the control will come here the value in main after function call and you can see that this has not got changed it is still equal to 20 30 okay so if you now print the value then the value in main after function call will be 20 30 okay so let me write this this will be some address let me write the output for this particular program okay so it will be it will first print the address before function call it will be some address let's suppose 10101 now if you print value before function call it will be equal to 2030 okay so it will be equal to 2030 okay now so next thing will be that as soon as you call this function the control goes here the address inside function now you know that a different object was created okay so since a different object was created the address will be different suppose 10201 okay or 202 whatever it is hardly matters okay now when you perform this if you check the value inside function since you had performed an append operation in the local object its value was changed and its value was changed to 20 30 and 40 okay and as soon as the control came out of this particular function the control came here and you now know that the value in main after function call is still equal to 20 30 the this global object was not modified okay so this should be the output uh, this this particular address and this particular address must be different so let me run this the last program and show it for you uh, so you can see that this particular address before function call and the address inside function they both are different okay and the values before function call and the values inside function they are different but when you come out of the function call then you can still see that the value of the global object has not been modified okay uh, so you can see the same output that you had uh, that I had written here. Okay, so the same output that we had seen here. The only change in the address. Address may be anything that doesn't matter. Okay, and uh, this you can see that the global object this 2030. This one is different address than 203040 inside the function. But when it uh, uh, came to the main after function call, then it is again equal to 2030. The global has been not modified. Okay, so I hope you got the concept. If you, if you haven't, then you just go through this lecture again and again. And you take a look at the different cases and you will understand it uh, well. Okay, so just the important thing to note here is that when you are do writing like this fun one a and even we are writing def fun one a then initially this local a and this global a they will be pointing to the same object irrespective of which data type you are talking whether it is in teaser whether it is tuple whether it is a list whether it is anything it, they, this a out here initially and this a out here will be pointing to the same object so if you print the address and value without mod making any modification then it will print the same address same value okay but if you make any modification before these statements if you change it then it depends if, you, if it is uh, supporting object reusability okay then and you are not changing the value then the address and values will remain same but if it does not if it is not supporting object reusability then this address and this value will be different okay so this is the concept in nutshell i will give you some more assignments based on this particular co um, concepts okay and then it will be more clear to you uh, if if there is any problem in this particular class because this is important and this is a bit uh, difficult to understand so you can let me know if you are facing any problem and uh, i will try to help you out 
and uh, it will be more clear uh, in the next quiz that i will give it to you and i will discuss in the next lecture and then uh, these concepts will be uh, more clear to you okay so that's it for today uh, stay everyone stay safe uh, stay indoors thank you